Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the utterly fantastic Techware Phantom Mechanical RGB Keyboard. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at this keyboard from Techware. Now, some of you may not have heard of Techware. They, uh, they don't really tend to do a great deal in the UK. A few bits and pieces, but um, mostly in America and other markets. So I thought I'd give it a try. Now, this actually is a US layout keyboard. So for those of you that want a UK layout keyboard, this isn't for you. Please stop the video now and go on to the next one. But for those of you that are still with us and want a US keyboard layout and want a cost-effective, yet quality-constructed RGB keyboard, this is going to be probably right up your street. So let's go through some of the specs first of all and give you an idea of what it is all about. So I'm going to read this off the box so I get it absolutely correct. So um, this is featuring SMD LEDs, modular mechanical switches, double-shot ABS keycaps, so you're not going to get keys that wear out under use, so double-shot keycaps are going to last for a long, long time full uh, key rollover, so over the whole keyboard, and you've got a gold-plated USB connector. So that's some of the highlights. Okay, so we'll quickly spill through the rest of the technical specs. So dimensions 361.5 by 133.5 by 22.5 millimeters, 350 grams, plus or minus 30 grams. Uh, the switch lifespan is 50 million keystrokes. The interface is a 1.8 meter USB 2.0 cable, rated voltage 5 volts, 300 milliamp hours. The layout is the 8710 keyless layout. The back plate is a metal alloy. I believe it is steel, but um, hey, I'm no expert. LED lighting, you've got 20 modes, 5 levels, and 5 speeds. The printed circuit board is a FR 4 fiberglass, if that means anything to you. I'm assuming that's a quality thing. Truthfully, not a clue. Uh, system requirements, USB port, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, or Mac OS. Now, there is actually software which works with this, so this is actually one of the very few keyboards of this kind of price point, around about the 40 to 50 pounds mark. Now, actually, out of interest, quickly going on to price. At the moment, in the UK and the US, actually, 49.99, so actually a pretty decent price for a mechanical 10 keyless keyboard that actually has software support for the RGB and also macros, but we'll go into that a little bit later. Um, warranty is one year and software, as it says on the box, please download our website, which I already have done. It is on the PC behind me and we'll soon be plugging it in and you can see how all that stuff works. So that is all the tech spec of the box. I suppose of note on here is mechanical switches. This is using the Otomi brown on this particular model you do have an option for the otomu blue and also the otomu red and if i've said otomu wrong i've actually said it wrong quite a few times so there you go so let's take it out of the box and have a look now in all fairness i actually have taken this out of the box a couple of times already and i've gone to do the review and other things have cropped up so i haven't got around to doing it my sincerest apologies but better late than never so first of all we get the techware phantom rgb backlit mechanical keyboard quick start guide now inside this quick start guide gives you all the uh, keystrokes and all that kind of stuff so you can control the RGB, your My Computer, Internet Explorer, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, And also the triggering of the function keys. Now it doesn't mean they get angry, it just means that is how you can make certain things happen with certain keystrokes. So that's the kind of thing, dead handy, just keep it under the keyboard or keep it to hand just in case you uh, forget how to read. Inside, we also get a plastic cover. So this is actually pretty cool if you've got, like I have, got cats who've got an affinity for sitting on anything which is either important or has a light in it. Um, this is great, you can put this over your keyboard at night when you're not using it. Moving on to the keyboard itself. So on the keyboard, we have got a really nice, actually, uh, a braided cable in black and no nasty accents on there. So that's gonna tie into most uh, decors, I would have thought. And the USB plug, this is quite an elaborate setup with some kind of plastic cap on the end and uh, some sort of stuff going on there. I don't know why, but it looks pretty cool. And you've got a gold plated USB 2.0 port. I'm not sure why it's gold plated. I don't think there's actually any benefit of that. I suppose electrical conductivity is better with gold and also it looks pretty darn cool as well. Although you're never gonna see that because it's gonna be inside the PC, but hey. 
Also, you get a, uh, a cable wrap there, so you can do a bit of cable management with the cable if it's a little bit long for your liking or you're maybe trying to tidy your desk. That's all good. And what else do we get in here? So, let's get rid of this box. So, this is actually pretty cool. I'm actually very, very much respectful of Techware for including this in their package. So, in this little baggie here, we have a switch puller. So, this is using the Otomu switches, as we said before. Now, you actually get inside the box four spare switches. So, there's a little brown switches. And obviously, being that it's Otomu switches, you can actually interchange them. So, if you want to actually get a little bit creative, you can actually go and buy different switches for different parts of the keyboard. So maybe you want blues on the arrow keys or the uh, ASDW, you can go ahead and do that or whatever you choose to do. So compatible with other Otomu switches, not compatible with other switches. There has been a couple of videos I've seen where other people have attempted to put other switches in and they have had results. But from what I can tell, this is purely compatible with Otomu switches. So uh, just to clarify that. So four switches included in the box with your switch puller, which I think is a great touch. And that is actually the first time I've seen a keyboard of actually of any price point that I've reviewed actually come with spare switches in the box. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. Well done, Techware. So let's have a look at the actual keyboard itself. Now, this is actually a pretty sturdy keyboard. So let's go through on the back. First of all, on the back, you've got this kind of gamery kind of look. You've got rubberized feet in the corners and also You've got the feet, which again, have rubberized edges on them. So whether you have it in the, the upright position or whether you have it in the down position, you're gonna have rubber contact on all four edges. And actually, I was gonna say five edges, but no, it is just the four edges. Uh, also on the bottom, which I think is pretty cool, you've got this uh, keycap puller, which you need nails to get out, which I haven't got. So that just pulls out, so then you can use that to remove your keys. So that just clips on and you can pull off your keys to make replacement easier. And then obviously you can use your puller to pull out the switches and replace them should you need to. Um, I'm not too sure whether they think they're gonna be faulty or whether you need extra ones. Maybe if you're an extremely heavy gamer and you're gonna do more than uh, 50 million key presses, then maybe you would need it but uh, I don't think you're likely to, but it's actually a very nice inclusion regardless. So there we go, you've got a key puller, which is actually built into the bottom of the keyboard, so you're unlikely to lose that, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, at the bottom, we've got a wiring channel, so you can have the wire come out in various options, so uh, that'll be your left, to the right, or to the center, depending on how you wanna go. So that is potentially very useful. So actually onto the keyboard itself. Now, I actually really like this keyboard. I didn't think I was gonna appreciate the US layout, but actually it is quite nice to type on. Took a little bit of getting used to, as those in the Discord chat will probably agree to. And there's all kinds of hashtags and things being in the wrong place. And obviously because the at key and the comma key is in the wrong place, some things don't quite work out straight away, but you get used to it pretty quickly. Now the keyboard itself, the keys are the raised type. so. Actually, you see the SMD LEDs in the bottom shine through very, very nicely. Now, some people don't like the fact of not having a number pad. If you don't like not having a number pad, don't worry, Techware have got you covered. There is an option of this with the full key layout. So uh, just go to Amazon or wherever, type Techware, look for the Phantom RGB keyboard, and you'll see there's a 10 key list like this one, the 87 key, and there's also the full size grown up keyboard as well, should you wish. So there we go, there's the keyboard, I just plugged it in. Now this has actually memorized my previous settings, so I've used it on my PC already, and this is what I've set up. So this is my customized keyboard. So as you can see, I've got the escape key set to green, especially, and the cap shift control, the arrow key set to red, and the rest of the keyboard set to white. Got the this group here set to blue. So in this software, you can actually pretty much do whatever you want to with it. But if you don't want to install software, which I guess there's some of you out there that maybe don't want to, I personally prefer the software because you can go through and flick through the options. Again, we'll have a look at that a little bit later, but you can actually do it all manually. So on the arrow keys, you've got the option for speed up and down and also brightness up and down. That works in conjunction with the function key. And also you've got memory keys here. So M1, 2, 3, 4, etc., etc., which take you through the different modes. So each button on there contains, I believe, three different modes of operation. 
uh, which you can toggle through. So uh, actually if you do one now, so function and M1. So that takes you to your standard default kind of uh, your fade, your Aurora flow, I guess you would call it. So that just gently goes through all the colors. So if you press function and M1 again, that then changes the mode. So then it will go through the kind of the color flow, the rainbow puke or whatever you want to call it. Press it again and then you get a slightly different layout again. So a little bit of movement going on there, I think. No, nope, that's a static one. So function and M2, and that gives you your different modes where it goes through rain. Function M2 again, and that is your kind of fading key. Loads and loads of options on here. We could go through this forever. So this is the sine wave. Again, all of these options, if you install the software, you've just basically got a drop down menu, which hopefully is going to be showing on the screen, or you may have already seen it pop up on the screen already. And you can control it to your heart's content. There's loads and loads of options, which is something actually which uh, was a little bit frustrating with some of the other keyboards. The uh, Master Keys Lite 3.1, the, um, the Rio Toro one, the software wasn't particularly great on there. It was a little bit of a struggle to use. Uh, what was the other one? There was another one recently which we did, I can't remember. That was the Game, oh, the Game Max one, which is actually on the PC behind me, which is a great keyboard, but unfortunately it lacks software support. And that was only £10 cheaper. So for this to get software support as well, for the extra £10 actually does get my seal of approval. So let's talk a little bit more about switches. Now, I'll be honest with you, I play games. I would class myself as a gamer. I'm not one of these gamers who is completely obsessed with uh, how many grams of travel a key takes or how clicky it is or whatever. Basically, as long as the keyboard looks nice, feels nice, and is a good price, then I'm pretty much sold. This covers a lot of bases for me. The RGB control is definitely a win. The Otimu brown switches, I'm actually, actually quite a big fan of. I do like them. Got the Otimu reds, I believe it was, on the, uh, the one behind me. But I actually, I do prefer the browns, me personally. I like with the Rio Toro, the brown switches on there, I actually did like as well. So it seems the brown switches are for me because I do obviously YouTube channel, type in a lot of comments, replies, etc. So I've done a lot of typing and a little bit of gaming. So this, the brown switches actually works in pretty much most environments. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. I will leave you with some footage of the keyboard going through its RGB madness. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, then feel free to put them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been the Techware Phantom RGB keyboard, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching. Jesus in a bottle may cause seizures, but fit to walk with both the lepers and the preachers, and I, I'm not either, no, don't think I'm either, oh, prescription Jesus, but you hide it if you keep it, that orange ship to reach the top of God's own healers, and I fight the feeling, I fight the feeling, oh.
Yeah. 